July 31st. This is the start of a new vlog. Um, I know I have not posted a vlog all month long for July. I filmed a bunch for it, but nothing came out of it. I like started the vlogs and I would never finish them. And so I'm trying to film all of August, but I'm starting July 31st because today's Monday and then it's August. So I don't, so I at least start the vlog, the, the, month, the month off right with a whole week vlog. But um, today I have a pretty busy day. I'm going to go see the Barbie movie. So I am wearing pink. I got my pink shirt, a pink purse and a pink bracelet on so that I can fit the mood for Barbie. I did see it yesterday. I took my mom to go see it, but we're taking me and my brother, taking my nieces to see it today. So um, I'm very happy with that. And then later today, I'm going to go see my friends, go visit my friend Brittany and my other friend. Megs, we're gonna go hang out at her new apartment, so we'll be doing that. And then, reading wise, I am currently listening to Under the Whispering Door because this weekend on Sunday I'm supposed to be doing a live with Nell, so I need to have that book done by Sunday. I'm about like 30% in and I'm enjoying it all right. I tried reading it physically earlier, but I just couldn't get into it, so I'm listening to the audio now and I'm enjoying it. And now I am physically reading The Shadow Cabinet, which is the sequel to Her Majesty's Royal Coven. I am 200 pages in. I am buddy reading that with Jen, and my goal is to read 100 pages a day. Don't know if I'll get to 100 pages today, but at least 50 pages. I've been reading every night, like 100 pages before bed the last two days, because it's the first book in the Magical Readathon that I'm doing also. It's the pet pick. This little guy picked it. But, um... I am enjoying it. I'm really liking it. And it is interesting to see where things go. I got about like 300 pages left. So hopefully I get 100 pages. If not, then um, 50 at least. But I gotta go. Hey, beast. Okay, so it is about like midnight. I um, just finished reading my 100 pages of... Um, Shadow Cabinet, I'm really enjoying it. We got, it's getting really good, um, wrapping up, not wrapping up, but ramping the tension of like each of the different perspectives. Um, I'm really liking it. Uh, I, it is like a sequel to Her Majesty's Royal Coven. And in this, we're getting just more of a world, more of how the political system works. And it's just getting really interesting. And I think I just saw what the third title is for the third book. And I'm very excited for that. I am really starting, this might be a favorite trilogy if it keeps up the way it's going but i'm really enjoying it um especially the characters like a main character in this one that wasn't in the second one is slowly becoming a favorite and i'm really enjoying her um and now i'm un still i read a little bit of under the whispering door but i wasn't, wasn't planning on reading a lot today i think i got to 40 percent, and i'm still enjoying it so that's good. I just got to make sure I'm done by Sunday. And it's barely Monday. So that's good. But um, early today, I did take my nieces to go see Barbie. And I really enjoyed it. This was my second time seeing it because I took my mom yesterday to see it. And it was really good. Um, I loved it. I loved all the set pieces as a person who was like a little kid who loved, who wanted to play with Barbies. I really enjoyed the movie. And I like I like dolls and stuff. I like, collected dolls too when I was early younger. So I really enjoyed it. I like all the Barbie references. But, um, and then I went to my friends I haven't seen in a while. I went to one of my friends, you got no apartment. We hung out for a little bit, but I got back sooner than I was planning to. So I was able to do sprints on Discord, which if you do join my Discord, I do do sprints on Discord occasionally, um, with friends and we chat and I read, but, um, Princess and me, we did Discord sprints so that I could read my hundred pages of the Shadow Cabinet and... But yeah, this is just an update from Monday. We'll see. Hopefully I can keep this vlog updated. But I will see y'all later. Morning, Tuesday night. I am getting ready for bed. I'm watching some Golden Girls, which I'll show a clip of. But um, I got 100 pages read of Her Majesty's World Coven again. Not Her Majesty's World Coven. The Shadow Cabinet. So I am about 100 pages left. Very excited to finish this. It's getting very good. Um, I then got to about 50% of, um, Under the Whispering Door, so I'm really enjoying that as well, but, um, I'm excited for my next reads. I think I'm gonna do Fourth Wing next. I'm gonna look at my Magical Readathon TBR. I wanna do all the O's first, and then we will figure it out after that, but, yeah.
I'm very happy with where I'm going, my reading right now. Then I worked my reading journal a little bit, got stuff, like, did all the math and stuff for the, um, June wrap-up, which, July wrap-up, which I have to film tomorrow. But I will see y'all later. It is about, like, 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. I'm about to get ready for work. But my goal today is to read 100 pages, my last 100 pages of, um... The Shadow Cabinet, I'm very excited to finish that. And then after that, I'm either going to read Wonder Woman Historia or Fourth Wing physically. And then I need to read, um, and then I'm going to listen to Under the Spring Tour. And I'm not 50%, so I'm hoping to get to like 70% through today is the goal. I need to be done with this by Sunday though, so I have a little more time to finish this. But I am hoping to be done with, um, trying to knock out these books for the Magical Readathon, even though Under the Spring Door is not for the Magical Readathon. It is for a live I'm doing. And then I either need to find a copy, I need to find a copy of the Legacies on audio. It's probably gonna have to be good, uh, audio audible pick, but I know I'm gonna listen to Nevernight with Princess after I finish that, so I will check in with y'all later. Um, probably after work. Um, but yeah, I will see y'all later. So it is now, um, Wednesday night. I just got I got home from work a little bit ago, but I finished two books today. I finished Under the Spring Door, the audiobook. Really enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed the, like, energy and the humor of it was pretty good. And it, I didn't cry, but it did get me a little sad. So I got, that's like a four stars. It's like maybe a 3.9, like a breath away from a 404. And I enjoyed it. Um, I don't know. I think I liked it under the whispering. I mean, the first book, House of Green Sea, a little bit better. I felt a little bit more emotional with that one. But I then finished Her Majesty's Royal Coven. And when I tell you, June Doss, that series, bitch. Bitch. That bitch knows how to write a book. That bitch knows how to write an ending. And those endings got me fucked up. Like, I thought the last book had a cliffhanger. This book said, bitch, you thought. Bitch, you thought you knew what a cliffhanger was. So, I really enjoyed it. Five stars. And I'm very excited for the sequel. Me and Jen both finished it today. And I'm like, yes! And so, I am now starting Defend the Dawn. Because this is, I believe, it is for my... In the Magical Readathon. It is Conduration O. In Conduration, Ghostly Etiquette. Which is to read a book, a royal or a court book. And I know this has um, political intrigue. And it deals with the prince. And, I mean, the king. And the king's hand and a thief and so i read the first book this is a sequel i'm trying to knock out and i'm glad because this is knocking out a lot of the sequels for uh, that i gives me opportunity to read other sequels for december because i um december is my usual sequel month and i have a lot of sequels so it's good that i'm knocking them out throughout the month throughout the year so that i have more i can re i can read more different ones but i am excited to read this i was going to read this last april for the magical read in april but i never got to it so I'm going to try to physically read this. Try to do 100 pages a day still. I don't know if I'm going to read 100 pages today because I already did read 100 pages with um, the Shadow Cabinet. But let's see. I'm going to read a little bit before I go to bed. And um, we'll see. But I will see y'all later. This is just a quick check-in. I also forgot to mention that I am also starting Nevernight, another buddy read. It's also a buddy read month. I'm like doing three buddy reads this month. One down, two to go. I'm buddy reading this one with Princess. You know her. You love her. She's an amazing book tour. Um, and Jen's channel is also going to be linked down below. Jen from Gender Queer and Princess from Castle Library. The channels, of course, will be linked down below. But um, I'm buddy reading Nevernight with her. I've already read Nevernight, but I haven't continued on with the series, even though I own the two books. And Princess, one of her goals was to read this series. And I was like, hey, let's do it. I'll reread this one and then we'll continue because next month we'll read Godgrave. And then in October, we will be reading um, the last one. I forgot the last one's called, but I am starting that, and that is for the prompt of, um, O and Demonology, no, it is O and Restoration, so in Do Sleep, read a book before bed, so I'm gonna be reading a little bit, before, I'm gonna start it before bed, I will be reading it more before bed, but it will be, like, the thing, the last thing I listen to each night. Even though I fall asleep to TV, I will listen to it for, like, 30 minutes at least a night to count it even though i'll be reading more of it throughout the day but it's my tbr so who's gonna fight me but i will it see y'all later friday but i'm doing this for my thursday check and i just i got home from work i just finished filming the video that's got to be up already but um i like to procrastinate that's the word i was looking for in the video procrastinate 
But I just finished filming the July wrap up, so that should be already up by now. Um, I got to like chapter five, I think further actually, in um, Nevernight today at work, and I've got to page 60 of um, what is the book called? Um, Defend the Dawn. I am going to get to page 100 before I go to bed tonight. But I have to finish editing, put books away, and then I'm kind of redecorating a part of my, um, I might redecorate part of my bookshelf. But also today, my phone was not charging at all, so that's why I didn't check in with you guys earlier today. So I had to panic attack with my phone, like, at 5% this morning, buy, um, a portable, a uh, wireless charger on the Apple Store, have my brother get me a lift to the mall, go to the Apple Store, all before I had, like, all, like, with an hour and two, three hours before I had to go to work, charge my phone, which with the wireless charger, it charges slow. It says it charges fast, but it charges fucking slow. I had it on the charge for like two hours and it didn't even get from, it got from like five to like 80%. That is slow, excuse me, sir. But I have an appointment for the Apple store tomorrow to look at my phone to see what the fuck is wrong with it. But that is like a 10. So I should be trying to get some sleep, but I have a lot to do before I go to bed tonight. I am already tired. I will probably check in with you guys after I get my pages read of, um, Defend the Dawn. My backpack is on the floor right now, and that is bad luck. So, I will see y'all later. So, I just got to the 100 page mark of Defend the Dawn, and um, I'm happy I got to it tonight, because I'm hoping to keep up at least 100 pages a night um, or a day for this magical readathon i really like how i was able to do it for shadow cabinet and i want to just continue this trend of reading at least 100 pages a day physically so i got to 20 percent mark of um and defend it on um it's got this beautiful pretty embossing so i'm gonna update my reading journal and then eventually try to fall asleep i need to put my phone on the electric charger wireless charger but i am enjoying defend it on um Bridget Kamar knows how to write political intrigue. I will say that. It's very, um, just like her other fantasy series. I like fantasy. There's no magic in this one. I'm going like the fantasy. There's no magic in this one. It's very, like, uh, pol more on the political intrigue side of it. But, um, of the, uh, what's the other series called? It's Curse. I'm looking... Um, what is it called? A Curse of Dark and Lonely, which I enjoy that series. And the, um, I'm excited to see what she comes out with for the, um, Beyond A Curse of Dark and uh, Lonely. But I'm listening to Golden Girls right now, which I'll show a clip of after this, if you guys hear it. Yeah, I'm just watching Golden Girls. I have it on for background noise as I read. But yeah. It is now Friday night. I just finished my 100 pages of Defend the Dawn. I am very proud of myself because around the 29th is when the Magical Readathon started. And ever since then, I've been reading 100 pages a night. I, like, through the whole day. The whole day I read 100 pages. And I'm liking that. I'm liking that I'm setting that page goal for myself and that I'm meeting it. it I feel productive. Like I said, it's just been a week, though. And I'm going to start a new thing of trying to do 20 minutes at least of an audiobook before I fall asleep. So I'm about to do that for never night. I got to, like... 15% of that, so I need to listen to more of Never Night. But I'm at 40% of Defend the Dawn, almost halfway through. Hopefully, you're done with this by Sunday, I think. 100 pages tomorrow. I'll be at 300 and then 400 on Sunday, and then Princess Heather spent on Sunday. So I will check in with you all later tomorrow. Bye. So, of course, I've got these two with me. Cisco is obsessed with her ear, and Raina just looks like she likes it. So weird. It's Sunday morning. I didn't check in with you guys yesterday on Saturday. Um, I did work 3 to 11 yesterday, and I got home from work, and I was just tired, and I fell asleep kind of right away. No, I worked 1 to 9 yesterday. Don't ask, Paco. But um, I was just tired, so I went home, and I got home and just kind of fell straight asleep. But I did get to page 300 yesterday because I was watching Jen um, sprints on Saturday morning. Before work, I was laying in bed, I turned on my Xbox, and I put the sprints on, and I got to page 100, 300 of Defend the Dawn, so I'm almost done with that. I'm enjoying Defend the Dawn. I'm really more excite, interested in the side characters, like the, the B plot than the A plot of the book. Um, 
I'm kind of irritated with one of the main characters because the main character, one of the main character, is letting one, like phrase things that are said by other characters to like completely erase what happened in the last book with her, and it's kind of irritating. It's like you really not trusting this person because of one or two phrases said by these other people when you had a whole book to like explore the trust with them. But I mean, this is kind of what Bridget Kamara's books do, where like just the interpretations of characters are like it's interesting but also like this part is irritating with this one character but i'm still enjoying it um i then started because i was reading i got to like page two, 257 during the sprint so i then stopped because i wanted to read a defendant on work i picked up wonder woman historia which is a comic book that was it won some awards last year and, um, it tells the origin story of the Amazons. The artwork is fucking beautiful. And I'm enjoying it. I finished the first two issues in that. It's a three-part story, and I finished the first two parts. So, today during Princess's Sprints, which are happening in, like, two hours, I'm going to try to finish Defend the Dawn of Wonder Woman Historia. And then, um, this is the goals for today. And then for Nevernight, I got to 33%. She is now at the school. And I'm enjoying it. It is a reread, so it's not like, oh, wow, wow. I'm just excited to get knock it out. But um, I do plan to listen to that more today. But yes, it is Sunday, so it is my reset day. So my room, I let it get dirty throughout the week. And today is my let's clean up day. It's also supposed to be like really hot today. So I gotta do laundry as soon as I can. As much as I can in a couple hours before it gets too hot to do it. But... Wish me luck on that. It's time to reset. I'm going to put on some vlogs on YouTube on my TV. And then we will get started on cleaning this room. I kind of started a little bit last night. Um, but I am excited to just knock all this shit out. But I will see y'all later. Probably during the sprints when I finish the book. I'll check on you forget. At 3.30 I am doing a live with Nell for Under the Whispering Door. So there's that. But I will see y'all later. I wasn't planning on it, but I ended up being a part of Princess's Sprints. They basically asked for me, because, you know, like, you know, I'm famous. And, oh, I got a little cut right here, and I'm irritating the fuck out of me. But, um, so they, I got a, I got a requested to be a part of Princess's Sprints by Pat. Love you, Pat. And, um, so I joined in there, and I finished Defend the Dawn. So I give it 3.5 stars. I enjoyed Defend the Dawn for, like, the side character plot more than the main character plot because one of the main characters was starting to get the frick out of my nerves. She, Tessa, the main female character, was so irritating in this one because she really let one or two sentences affect her so fucking much by changing her opinion on a main character that in the first book she spent so much time building trust with. And it's like, girl, you're not loyal, you're not smart, you've fallen for every single, like, little statement said and it was just really irritating and all I can focus on in this shot is this like cut I have right here love that for me but um I'm taking a mini break because I am doing the live with um Nell in 30 minutes or 40 minutes give or take so about like 220 I'll pop on there to say hello and get ready for that. But I do plan to finish Wonder Woman Historia today as well. Because I'm on the last comic. Might do Sprints with Princess on Discord. And if anybody else wants to jump on and chat. Um, that will be fun. And then after that. I don't know what else I'm going to do. Uh, I started laundry but stopped it. Because it got too hot. But I did end up like pretty much cleaning up my room. I should turn this off. It's like a candle wax melter, which I like. And I might tell Helen about it if she doesn't know about the candle wax melters. Because, like, you can still see the smells, just no open flame. So, I will see y'all later. Finished Wonder Woman Historia, and it was amazing. Um, five stars. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the artwork is fucking stunning. I know it's a part three of a series. This is the first part. I of um it start because it's supposed to start with the creation of the amazons which this one did and it leads up to when steve trevor lands on the mascara and so i'm very excited i'm hoping the series continues because this book was fucking amazing but so i finished that earlier in this vlog i finished defend the dawn 
which I gave 3.5 stars. I finished Under the Whispering Door, which I gave four stars. I finished um, Shadow Cabinet, which I gave five stars. And I also finished a comic. I don't know if I talked about it. Might have earlier in the vlog. Young Men in Love, which I gave... Um, it was a anthology, and I don't rate comic anthologies. The artwork was, I loved it though because the artwork was amazing. I loved the body, the body representation. It was most basically a bunch of like queer male love stories, and I have like diversity, skin of race, um, body types, um, trans, and it was just really good. And it was by queer male artists and queer male writers, so I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed some stories more than others, so I don't really rate anthologies, but. That was this vlog. I read a lot this vlog. I'm very happy. I'm knocking out books for the Magical Readers Bond. For the Magical Readers Bond part of it, I knocked out um, three prompts. So that is good. And I'm very excited to start next week's um, vlog. But yeah, I will see y'all later. Thanks for watching. If you stayed this long, leave a snake emoji for Amazons. Because they had Hera and she had like, a, the gods had snakes at one point. It was the snake part. But yeah, leave a snake emoji. And I will see y'all later.